and then persistence, which is a collective of those two. How often can we be resilient? How many times are we resilient in our life? Because we need to be. You don't need to be 80 years old to realise that there's going to be some fucking hard shit that hits our lives, irrespective of how you choose to see it. That's reality. It hits us all. But if we can stay persistent, never give up, never give in, and continually move forward with a level of resilience to overcome the speed humps, the roadblocks that hit us in a quick manner, in a quick light, striving for excellence in all that we do in moving forward in our lives and moving forward with purpose, not just for ourselves, for our unborn grandchildren, unless there's any grandparents here right now. Understanding that what we're doing now is paving the way for our kids and their kids, and that will equally succeed. Um, structure, um, a lot of structure. Um, you're not left to your own devices. Hey, here, give me a hundred bucks, and um, if you've got this to do, good luck. I'll see you in a month, sort of thing. Now, this is um, you, you've got your weekly chats, you've got um, motivational videos. Um, yeah, you've got, you've got workouts planned for you. Whenever you want to talk to him, you give him a call and, you know, you get a 45-minute chat, a bit of coaching, and, um, yeah, it's, it's been good. You're just not left to your own devices to work it out for yourself. It's just a moment, and that's what life is. It's a series of moments, a series of present nows. And what we do in this present now can take us into the next present moment and future present moments in the direction where we want to enjoy that. And yeah, it'll be tough times. We want to have a level of fulfillment and happiness and love in those moments, not just for ourselves, but for our children. And sometimes it's hard to see that, fellas, because we get stuck in the rat race. We get caught in that spinning wheel of all the bullshit and all the stuff that hits us and all the fluff in the world that tries to cave in on us when we don't have that level of fortified framework to stay true to ourselves and reach for what's greater within us. Um, it's, it's, it's stripped away and brought back out the real me rather than actually changing me it's it's shaved away the the undesirable parts of myself that i'd hitched onto myself throughout the years and let let you know um hang around on my back i guess you know like so it's been really good yeah it's great it's great my kids see it you know my kids see what i'm doing they're proud of me they see the the um, the determination I've got, and that the, um, the, the you know the way it's it, it's benefiting me, and yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I've, I've more energy at home. I'm um, um, yeah a better example for them.